Hello, welcome to the Paul Fluter channel. This is the premium watch review channel. Premium paid watch review channel, fuckers. Unlike nasty channels out there, this is the premium end of paid watch reviews. Paul Pluto, the premium end. Remember, like, subscribe, and tell your fucking friends about my channel. Look in the description for 10 ways you can help me stay full time on YouTube. Here we go. This is from David. Here we go. Hi Arch, long time fan and would like some advice. Been looking at higher end watches for many years, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid to pull the trigger as I think I'll get bored with it in six months. You seem to flip, flip watches, even the nice stuff after six to 18 months. For me, that would be a quick way to lose money. So I want something to keep for a long time. Anyway, onto my dilemma. In my life, I've never spent more than $350 on a watch. I currently own a Seiko Movado Citizen and a Pedagon Coke GMT. Looks like Rolex. Okay, they are shitters in your world, but they actually look very nice and they all keep great time. You would not believe the compliments I get on the Pedagon. But I now want, but I now have no debt and am considering a higher end watch. I spend all my summers on the golf course and it is my passion and love. The watch I'm infatuated with is the Omega Aquaterra 150 golf version black dial with the green writing on it. It has the 1800 caliber, which seems like very high quality. I've seen it second hand for two six to three five, and I'm wondering if you would approve of this purchase. There are only a few other high-end watches that pique my interest: the Rolex GMT one one six seven one zero black dial green GMT hand, but this would cost five six and a half to eight thousand dollars. The other is the blue dial Yachtmaster. But then I'm up in the eight five to ten thousand dollar range. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece, and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. Okie dokie. Okay, okay. While I can afford it, this is the Blue Dial Yacht Master which is eight and a half to 10,000 around. While I can afford it, I just don't know if I would get that much satisfaction out of owning something so expensive. I would be afraid to wear both Rolexes to work and they would probably be safe, safe queens. The PCLs would also scratch very easily as I do a lot of computer entry work. I know you love Rolex and will probably recommend one of them. I just wonder if the Aquaterra would be a good bet in my situation. I could easily see myself wearing a $3,000 watch every day and not crying about scratches or use. $6,000 to $10,000 and that's a very different problem. Very different story. I'd be overprotective of it so that it would have higher value down the road. Anyhow, tell me what you think. Thanks, Dave. Okay, Dave! Dave, 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 Dave. Calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down, Dave. Cool down, cool down, cool it. Cool down, Dave. Cool down. Now, Dave, come on, man. Come on. Come on. I, um, I gotta tell you, this ain't the way to behave, Dave. This ain't the way to behave. Slow down. Let's have a look here. 
and see what we can do. Now, the thing is, Dave, Dave, come on, work with me, not against me. The thing is, is that you have to really put it into perspective. I mean, Dave, we're only on this planet for a short time. Then we fucking die. We die. The weevils, the worms eat the shit, eat our body. So we are here for a short time. Now, you can either embrace it, live with it, or you cannot. Now, Dave, come on, man. Come on, man. You gotta fucking work with me, not against me. Now, Dave, I understand. That's fantastic. No debt. That is a great thing. Great achievement. But, Dave, these are fucking shitters, man. You're gonna, we're gonna be in, 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 in 50 years' time. It's not gonna matter what watch you wore. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, you know, we're either gonna be having Alzheimer's in a nursing home or we, worms are gonna be eating through our body in the ground if we haven't been burnt in the big barbecue of life. Man, work with me, not against me. Look, seriously, the Omega... Now, for starters, any precious mechanical watch, don't ever play golf with it on. Just because it's called a golf version doesn't mean the fucker, the stress from constantly hitting those balls will fuck up a mechanical watch. So, it'll fuck up even a quartz watch. Don't fucking do it, okay? Don't do it. It's, it's, it's not the thing to do. Now, Dave... Dave, you notice even Rolex sponsors golf tournaments. They don't actually wear the Rolex in the tournament. They put it on afterwards when they're getting the trophy. So let's talk about this, Dave. Dave, it's your life. I'm not here to tell you you must buy expensive watches or you must do this or must do that or must do... It's, it's none of... Another man can't tell another man what to do. Now, I would honestly say to you, seriously, if I were you... If you've got the money, buy. You know, I think for you, maybe it's a one watch is the way to go. Because I used to, I know exactly where you're coming from. And you don't feel, look, the funny thing is, once you start wearing a Rolex or you actually, it, it you know, you, 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 you're careful with it. I've always been careful with it. But I, you just, if it's going to do something, going to move some furniture, you take your watch off, put it in the drawer. You don't wear it whilst you're banging into walls and shit. You know, that's, that's just... That's the best advice you can follow there. Now, I gotta tell you, in all honesty there, a quality watch, quality watch is, is one of the joys in life, man. And now, now, if you don't wanna do it, no one's forcing you to buy it. If you get enjoyment from Seiko, Movado, Citizen, and that other fucking bullshit brand, hey, that is your, that is your genre. Personally, I like quality watches. I like them. I like them. I don't have much control. I've been fucking married three fucking times. I've been taken to the cleaners. I fucking, you know, everything is the only thing I can have a little bit of control in is a nice wristwatch. And at the moment, I'm wearing a Padek Philippe. Now, you got to understand, in my case, I don't flick them until I've got a really good offer. I don't sell them. I don't, I don't really sell these things. I also have cleared a lot of my debts. Got one car payment on the Civic to go, by the way, fuckers. One car payment to go. And I kind of don't get consumer finance for, for these things. Now, in your case there, you sound like... Look, I tell you honestly, if you want the Amiga Aquaterra, get it. If you really love it, it's not for one man to tell another man what is right and wrong. But... I personally don't think the Aquaterras hold their value terribly well. I think Amiga releases far too fucking many, far too many fucking versions. And I would say to you, if you want to buy an Amiga, you buy an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the fucking Moon. Because that is the iconic one. That's the one that you will not lose a lot of money on. Now, the Aquaterra, I, I must admit, a sports steel Omega, yes, I don't see you losing a fortune either. If you love that watch, maybe get that watch for yourself. Personally, personally, I would much rather you put that money into Rolex because even though the Rolex is expensive, more expensive, you're still going to hold the. They are incredible. They will hold their value. Now, I know exactly what you mean with data entry and, and, and you can scratch the underneath there. I know exactly. I, I fucking, I fucking, fucking, 
I, I'm with you. I feel for you. Feel for you, Dave. The, you can put on a NATO. NATO straps are fantastic. Take the bracelet off, put a NATO on. A leather NATO, schmicko. Um, I, I, um, I'm, I'm using, I'm just very careful with this here. I kind of, you know, I, I love the world time. I do love that watch. I really, really do love it. Uh, but I, I feel for you. I understand what you're saying. Look, Dave, it's not for me to preach to you and tell you what you must do this, you must do that. It's up to you. If you don't feel comfortable buying expensive watch, don't. Don't. If you are happy with Seiko Movado, Citizen, and Peregrine, fucking stay with that. Stay with that. It's not for me to say to you, you've made the wrong choice. You've got to go with what you feel comfortable with. And I, I would really say to you, man, personally get one Rolex. Get one Rolex. One Rolex. That's it. One Rolex. One Rolex. And what's wrong with being a one watch person? Too many people there are fucking, they want to be collectors. They want to do this. They want to do all sorts of fucking things. I would say one Rolex. One Rolex. One Rolex is all you fucking need. One Rolex. All you need. One Rolex. One beautiful Rolex. I, I'd go, you, you seem to be a GMT boy. Go GMT. You know what the thing is? The fucking funny thing is, for four and a half to five thousand, you can get a fucking Rolex Explorer 2. Why don't you fucking go that way? You got a Rolex, you got retained value, and I think the Explorer is going to come back. I mean, they were so hot in the 90s, early 2000, early noughties. They were hot. The Explorers 2s were hot. I don't know why they, they just turned doggy for some fucking reason. It's all fickle, fickle fuckers. Fickle fuckers! Fickle fuckers, f fuckers! Fickle fuckers! Pick a pick a pick a fuck, 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 fuck! Pick a pick a pick! Pick a pick a fucker, fucker! You know, I don't know what to say. <coughs> but I would say, look, buy a Rolex. Personally, buy a Rolex. But if you love the Amiga, buy the Amiga. Buy one. Just buy one. And just enjoy it. And I mean, look. At the end of the day, it's not for me to say, hey, do this, do that, do that, right? My formula to happiness is luxury watches. I love luxury watches. I love them. Love the fucking things. I love luxury watches. I like them. I like the fucking things. I like the fucking things. That's what I do. I like them. I, I got, you know, that's one of the things in life I can control and I have some say over. In your case, no one's forcing you to anything. I mean, I don't really give a flying fuck. I don't give a circle jerk what you wear or choose to do with your money. That is your choice. However, if you're asking me, the guru, the pontiff, the governor's governor, you gotta, you gotta say, seriously, fuckers, you gotta be honest, you gotta tell, I'm the, I'm the expert. Buy a fucking Rolex. Buy a Rolex. I reckon that Omega... What the Omega? Buy the fucking Omega. I don't know why you even sent me $10 and asked me this question. $20. I don't know what you fucking say. It doesn't tell me on this printout. But I'm just saying to you, man. Go with what you are happy with. Be happy. In life, before we know it, we're in a fucking nursing home. Eating our food through a straw. And re long remembering romances from years gone by. So... Fucking have fun, man. Have fun. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. <laughs>